Good morning guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I would like to explain about the assembly of a Bologna empty of a modular uh, prosthesis. Uh, it is a very basic step. The first is assembly, after that we will do static alignment, dynamic alignment uh, and all that process. So before starting this I have one my prosthesis ready for fitting. So this is the, the silicone liner okay, with the pin suspension. First of all, we need to attach the pin with the liner securely. Okay, now this is ready. And the second thing what we have here, we have a transparent circuit. Uh, this below the circuit is a temporary use for trial fitting and we can do easily many changes and you can see here there is an attachment of shutter lock here. And uh, this is the, the locking mechanism. So this is the circuit what we need to assemble. This is a ID10 set foot from the autobahn. Attached with the foot adapter. And the second thing we need a tube, pylon tube with tube clamp adapter. So it's, it will come here on the top of the foot. And the socket will be fixed on the top. We need to adjust the height. Uh, as per the height and this is the basic step how we, we are going to assemble. So I will start first with the foot. We need this key. So ideally we need to keep the foot in at least one centimeter of heel height or as recommended and we, we need to attach the pylon tube so by doing so make sure that uh, this pylon now should be in the center exactly straight okay You can use both ways up and down, no problem. Okay, but most likely the people they, they love to fix it. Upside down like this. You can fix either way, okay? So make sure the pylon is straight enough. Uh, you must have the alignment table here. Or you can do the this alignment by the laser alignment system. So make sure this one is enough tight. So you can see here, this one is fully straight and if you increase the heel height, it is in the center. Uh, I mean the, the pylon straight weld line should pass just into to the pylon tube and it will go up straight up to the socket, okay. So make sure this everything is tight enough that it will not make problem. Okay, next step with the socket. Again, socket will be 5 to 10 degree of machine flexion, at least 5 degree if the patient is normal without any contracture. And uh, first, we just need to a little bit it, let the socket, the prosthesis hold the socket, okay. So we need to adjust the rotation also because we want like uh, the weight line should 
in the front of plane it will be 50 50 okay like that tight it nicely for the elevation if you can see here because i don't have now uh, in the the my in the workshop so you need to just adjust the adduction and abduction okay so i'm going to give a little bit of adduction yes now it looks fine Make sure it's fully tight. <laughs> My prosthesis is uh, assembled. So for further validation, we need to check the with the alignment table, the alignment jig. That this is perfectly perpendicular. And the weight line from the from here to here entry posture should be at least at 50 degrees. In some cases, we give 60-40, 40 posterior, and from the front also it should be 50-50. Uh, so it will be exactly passed from here. It will cross the middle of the pylon and in between the toes. Okay, so first and second row in between. So this will be our alignment reference line. After that, this alignment will be changed as per the dynamic. The patient walk the radiation. We need to change that alignment as per our need okay so this is done for the assembling point of view so this is our liner the liner will go exactly from here the patient will wear it and it will go to this so you see it is now if i leave it from here i hold it it is locked if you want to release it just press this one so it will be released this is piston suspension system it is very secure I recommend it for most of the patients. So this was the basic uh, steps you can see here. Prostatic foot, pylon tube. This must be at 90 degree to each other with one centimeter of heel height, and the socket should be in five degree of initial flexion. The the the, the weight line should be in the middle of the the, uh, the sagittal plane, and in the frontal plane it should also be 50-50. That's it, we will see with the patient now how we will, if there is any height adjustment required or any alignment change in dynamic alignment, we will do it there. So this was just information for the people who don't know that how the prosthetics work. These are the interim prosthesis, we call this as a temporary one. For trial fitting, once we are satisfied, the patient is happy with the socket because this material, we can do many changes very easily without any problem. So we can do a lot of modifications here once the, the process is, is finalized, we replace this temporary socket with a permanent laminated one and rest of the component will stay there. So I hope you like it, it's a new information for some of you. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye bye.